Good Tuesday morning, everyone. Today, this week, and maybe for the weeks to come, I'm going to talk about depression, anxiety, and the information age. All right. In our culture today, they say that 70% of the world owns a smartphone. And they say that two hours a day, we actually look at the smartphone. And even further, they say 42% of every waking hour is spent looking at a screen, which if you calculate that out, it means that almost six hours of our day are spent looking at a screen. I love reading books by Dr. Perlmutter, like Brainwash, or Herman Deutsch, or Dr. Carolyn Leaf, and they're all neurologists, they're all scientists, and they have some really good information about how, with this information age, as good as it is, because we're on Instagram right now, and Facebook, and YouTube, that it can actually create a disconnect. It can create a disconnect within the brain. How? Well, they call it the disconnect syndrome, which can lead to things such as anxiety, depression, instant gratification, impulse, and overall sadness. Because the culture today, and even the companies out there, now I'm not saying companies are bad that are in media or technology, but they gear their products for us to be impulsive. Why? We live off dopamine. Dopamine is a pleasure chemical, a feel-good chemical. So when we get that stimulated, our body creates a circuit to keep firing the dopamine. Now, dopamine will rise, and what happens is the brain works overtime to keep your brain balanced. So, the companies will stimulate your brain, our culture will, to make you feel pleasure at all times. And when this occurs, the brain will actually reduce the receptors on the cells for dopamine because you're getting too much. So then what do we do? We actually will crave things or try to stimulate more dopamine receptors with what? Sugar, alcohol, chocolate, gambling, binge shopping, anything to hit that fix. Why? And we do it with our technology. The first thing we do when we wake up within the first 15 minutes is what? Look at our phone. We need the dopamine hit. And companies know that. And our culture knows that. So as we keep stimulating dopamine, we reduce the dopamine receptors, and then we have to crave more. And what does that lead to? Decreased pleasure. It's not happiness because it's an imitation of joy. So we have to get instant gratification, leading to some impulsive thing, and we realize it doesn't bring joy. That's how our culture works. That's how the brain works. Now, we say impulse, instant gratification, depression, and this creates the disconnect. And it all comes down to the brain, guys. The brain has two parts that I'm going to talk about today, and we'll get further into it the next few days. One's called the prefrontal cortex. The prefrontal cortex is the area of your brain right here that helps you make great decisions, helps you calculate, helps you take the whole situation in and make a sound judgment. But in today's society, we stimulate the amygdala. And the amygdala is the portion of your brain that does what? It encounters threat interpretation. It actually helps you take an idea or a thought and see if it's a threat. You live in fear. So our culture is based on the amygdala. We stimulate ourselves with these kind of incoming information of being fearful and trying to get it done and have instant gratification. And all the time it does that, it actually decreases the connection or the connectivity to the prefrontal cortex. So you don't make sound judgments, but you live off impulse and instant gratification. Now, when you have impulse behavior running your life, you start to realize you become depressed. And we're going to talk about this later. It's a lot to take in, but I want you to know this. When you have a pleasure chemical, it does not equal happiness. Happiness comes from serotonin. And serotonin does what? Competes with dopamine for certain transport proteins to get into your brain. Now, read the books by these authors, but I want you to know this. In this new age, new year, new century, new decade. I just went to new century. Who says new century? I just want you to know, looking at your phone all day or trying to get the instant hit, there are ways to help clean this up. So when you clean it up, you can do certain things with your diet, with your daily schedule, with not even looking at your phone in the morning till a certain set time. You don't want to keep firing the dopamine. Keep decreasing the amygdala response and start living in the prefrontal cortex. All right, guys, that was a lot, but I want you to know that there are simple ways to decrease depression and anxiety just by reducing some of the things in your life. Guys, I hope you have a good day. This is a lot about the brain. I love y'all. See ya.